Virginia for the Dragons Back National Enduro. This place is a super unique event. We've got everybody parked down on a retired horse track. Everybody's camping down there. The trails are super unique. It's different than anything we race all season long. Every test seems to be a little bit different. It's almost like a whole new race every single section. Even down to the trophies that the April Fool's promotion has. We've got a, a sword for the overall winner, some helmets. I'm sure everybody wants to get their hands on one of those. We got Stu Baylor on a roll this year in that NE Pro 1 class. He's won both the first two races. We'll see if anybody can dethrone him in that class. Pro 2, Jesse Ainsley's on a roll. We'll see if anybody else is ready to dethrone him in the Pro 2. And then also in the Women's Elite this year, it seems to have a lot of talent in that class. We got Shelby Turner from Canada who's won both the first two rounds, but there's plenty of other women in that class that want to take a win here at the Dragons Back. We're all set, ready to go. We've got great trails laid out. We'll see who can slay the dragon here at the Dragon's Back National Enduro. Shaky run in the second test put Stewart in the hole. He would have to dig out if he was going to win at the Dragons. best things you can ever do for your motorcycle is use a good quality air filter and use good quality air filter oil. And today we might have a little bit of dust out there today. So another thing that is important to do is uh, put this cover over top of your air filter. This one's not been oiled yet, but oil it just like you would your standard filter. What I like to do is put my oil in a container, dip my filter in there, and then 
squeeze it out. Never wring it out because when you wring it, that tears the fibers and it'll ruin your air filter. So always squeeze it out and then let it sit for a day so that way the carrying agent can evaporate and you get a nice even covering of your filter. That way you put your start the day with a nice new filter. If it's going to be a little dusty, put your cover over top of it and then maybe midday pull the cover off and you got a brand new filter finish out the day. So if you keep your motor clean and breathe in good air, it'll make your bike last longer and the performance will be the same all day long. Okay, we're here with a uh, local fast guy, Brad Bakken. Brad, when did you win this the first time? Yeah, I won uh, this national overall. The first year they had it, I think in 15, 16? Okay, we've been asked everybody, your mom, your dad, Alan, everybody <laughs> says it's 15 or 16, we got you done for sure. Yep. But uh, it's great to see you out here. How's things going today? Thank you, it's good, it's super fun. Um, with little misty conditions, um, with the dust underneath, it makes, um, they kind of stick to your goggles and stuff, but besides that, it's perfect. Um, I'm having a blast. Haven't ridden since Sumter because I separated my shoulder at Sumter, but I'm um, feeling great. Yeah. Well, I know you, you live here in Virginia. What's it like having a national here in your backyard? Oh, it's cool. It's yeah. really cool. Um, and we're lucky enough to be able to do at this pristine, um, luscious place. Yeah. Um, it's one of the best spots in Virginia, so definitely grateful to have it here well good well man brad it's great to see you out here having a good time and letting it rip so uh have a great last section and we'll see you finish yeah thanks sir <laughs> hey we're here with uh, napper and ben these guys uh, have been doing trackside support today uh napper we'll start with you this is your first time doing this how's things been going today yeah it's been going good we helped the guy out with electro shoe ben changed the tube on a guy's bike Helped another guy with his hand guards and crash. So what else have you done, Ben? Handed out paper towels. Other than that, it's been an easy day. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> we rode by here earlier, Ben. I saw you guys working on some bikes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just helping out the riders and just make sure they keep on racing and having a good day today. Yep. Absolutely. Make sure everybody finishes. Yep. So the conditions with the rain, I said you said you've been doing a lot of goggle work. Uh, how is the bike? Are the bikes holding up good or just enough to make it slippery out there? Just enough to make it slippery. The bikes seem to be good. There's no mud packed up, just more or less a little bit of dust and rainfall. But other than that, it's all good. Okay. Well, man, we really appreciate you guys doing what you're doing. I know it makes these guys that don't have a factory mechanic. It gives them an option to get some service and get to the end of the day. So appreciate you guys doing what you're doing. It's our pleasure to be here for you guys. Happy to be here. Thank you. Virginia, completely different riding than we've seen the other two ones. How's things going today? Uh, I'm doing, kind of chasing my tail a little bit. Um, I'm doing good. Like I, looking at the times, you know, I'm I'm close, but I knew Grant was going to be really hard to beat here. Um, this is one of his favorite tracks. He's always loved this place, and um, I feel like I just can't. I can't get as aggressive as I need to. The track's a little bit slick, a little bit different, um, and Grant rides the stuff really well. I was wanting a little more tight and technical and that seems to be where I shine a little bit more than gnarly it gets but um, the trails are actually phenomenal I mean it's really fun I'm just struggling to struggling to run the pace today. Uh, ever since you came into this I noticed your career you were or what they call a closer are we going to have to see that uh, that last section charge again I today? I hope so I <laughs> hope so because we're we're running out of time fast and um, with a with the tracks being a little bit faster a little bit less technical it's hard to close those gaps um, We'll see what that last test is, but I know they said that, that it was going to be, I think five and six were the more technical ones. Five, going into five now. Um, I know it's very short, but um, it is a little bit technical. It's a place where we can make up six, eight seconds, and that put us less than 20 out. I think we're 23 out sitting right now, and two seconds off of Ben Kelly. So um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can live up to the closer, <laughs> the, the closer name. Well, you seem to always do it, so good luck this afternoon. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Hey, when you guys are out there riding, one of the biggest things that you need to pay attention to is your vision. Looking up the trail, that way it helps you prepare sooner for more obstacles. We've got a pretty neat rocky hill in the enduro here today where you're coming around the corner and it kind of sneaks up on you. So if you can keep your head up and keep looking where you're going, it'll really help you get ready for these situations. When you're attacking a hill like this, um, I like to get my speed up early because it's got some rocks where you're going to have to back off and control your wheel spin and then get back on the throttle. Also, I like to stand up in these rocks, but whether you're standing up or you're sitting down, you want to be able to move forward or backwards to adjust either a front wheel wheelie or get more traction to the rear wheel. 
And again, I like to hit it in the middle part of the power band, so that way I have flexibility. If I need to roll off, get traction, and get back on when I have traction to keep my momentum and get going up the hill. And again, with the vision, if we can get a good drive at the hill, momentum is really your friend when you're tackling these situations. Baylor Brothers, along with FMF, KTM's Ben Kelly, finished the weekend in a tight loop. KLM Milwaukee Gas Gas's Grant Baylor got revenge on his brother, Ampro Yamaha rider Stuart Baylor, by holding him off in the sixth and final test to win this weekend's Dragon's Back National Enduro in Arrington, Virginia. 